flames, boiling water, red hot coils, knives, and machines that get up to 3000 RPMs. It almost seems like our kitchens are out to get us, right? I'm Chef Shane and welcome to Cooking Basics. I want to teach you the basics of cooking so that we can be safe. According to Porch.com, 700,000 plus cases that are reported to the ER are kitchen based. That's just the ones reported. There's countless that go unnoticed or we take care of by ourselves with bandages in our house. But the truth is the kitchen can be the most dangerous, well it is, the most dangerous place that we could ever be. We just feel more comfortable there because there's one in every home. There's even a type of one camping or in every other parts of the world because everyone has to eat. And there's no training required to be in a kitchen. And it can be a very dangerous place. Many chefs say that safety is a consideration. And it is. We have to be considerate of everything that's going around us to be safe. It truly is a consideration. We need to take our time, breathe, and slow down. You're not a line cook in the middle of dinner rush trying to feed 40 different people 40 different meals. You're in your home and you're just cooking. So you'll take your time, breathe, and slow down. Health is your most valuable asset. Take care of you. Your personal safety begins with you, and it's important that you understand that. Take your time and make sure that you learn the right skill. One of the biggest things is the appropriate dress. Now you don't have to have a chef coat, but you need to avoid loose and baggy clothing. Baggy clothing that hang down here and go and go all the way up to your arm they could get caught on things on the counter or even on that burner, that flame that was going earlier and can catch fire. It also can catch pot handles and other items. Tight fitting pants or no pants or shorts. Those are very dangerous. The tight pants, pant leg is sucked right up to your leg. So if you spilt the boiling water right onto your leg with tight pants, it's not even like you have fabric there. It's gonna go right in and it's gonna hold that to you. Water boils at 212 degrees which means at 213 you have steam. You have all of that sitting right there on your leg held to your skin by the tight clothing. And if you're not wearing tight, if you're wearing pants or shorts and your skin's exposed, you have it right there just right on your skin. So it's important to wear a proper fitting Levi's or a polyester, not a polyester, a canvas type clothing, which most restaurants give to their employees because that's gonna let the water run off and keep it away from their skin. Closed toed shoes, that's gonna prevent uh, slips, cuts from fallen knives, glass, or even just a stub toe by dropping a heavy object. So it's important to wear shoes, closed toed, not sandals or flip flops. Um, and then you wanna make sure your hair is tied back. This one is more of a personal hygiene taken care of, more than a safety, but it can be it's really gross to be eating food and find hair in your food. So you want your hair tied back or away from your face. It's a safety issue when it comes to those machines that spin at 3000 RPM or can spin at 3000. It's a machine and it's set to do one thing and that's to rotate. And that's all it does is rotate. And it either rotates really fast or really slow. And that's what RPM stands for, rotation per minute. 3000 rotations per minute is pretty fast. But again, it's a machine. So if you have long hair, or you have clothing hanging off of you, a tie or strings, and you're near that machine that's meant to do that one job and your item gets stuck in there, well, you can imagine what's gonna happen. The weakest link is gonna break because that machine is gonna keep doing what that machine's gonna do because the machine doesn't go, hey, I think I need to stop, I caught something. That's not what it does, it just keeps doing its job. And at that rotation per minute, it's gonna keep going and it wants to keep up that speed. So we wanna be safe, so hair tied up. We want uh, close fitting clothes. You don't have to have a chef jacket, um, just a nice loose leaf shirt that goes about mid calf to keep your arms protected. Again, loose pants, closed toed shoes, nothing open. Another big thing for safety with all the proper clothing is hand washing. Hand washing is a huge thing, especially in our homes. Um, it's going to cut down on the spread of foodborne illnesses, but it's also kind of the huge thing right now in the year 2020. But first of all, we need to remove any rings or jewelry or watches that we're wearing because these, we don't need them on. 
we're gonna be cooking. So let's go wash our hands. Hand washing's pretty easy. to get your the water on, pretty hot. Keep your hands wet. Get a good soap, hand soap that you like. And you're gonna scrub your hands for 20 seconds. You wanna use the fingers and get your palms. This helps clean underneath your fingernails as well as your palms. Get the both sides, get in between your fingers, the back of your hands, and go up your wrist a little bit. Okay, especially if you're gonna be making a meatloaf or something that you're gonna to have to get your hands in there. You wanna make sure that you're thoroughly clean to cook the food you're gonna be making. Again, just because you're at home cooking doesn't mean that you can't get sick from foodborne illnesses. 20 seconds is about the time it takes to sing any nursery rhyme. Um, you can choose what you wanna sing. Uh, you sing it twice, or you can try to just count in your head 20 seconds and then dry it with a single-use paper towel. And this is just a good way to keep salmonella, E. coli, hepatitis A, norovirus, and shigella from making a presence in your home. I'm gonna keep going through a lot of safety tips in my videos and to teach you the proper way to be safe in your kitchen. Because as you saw earlier, there's a lot of things in here that can and will hurt us. So you need to remember, safety is a consideration. Take your time, breathe, slow down. You are the only one responsible for your safety. Your health is the most valuable item and take your time to learn the right skill. Thank you for watching my channel and I'm gonna have a link to theporch.com on here so that you can see the resource that I saw about all the cases that went to ER and stay safe out there and keep on cooking.